Well, hey there, everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, but to be perfectly honest, it's because I haven't really done anything to my car uh, lately. Just pretty much been driving it all summer. Haven't had any issues for the most part. Uh, pretty much just been daily driving it uh, when the weather was nice. So I put about 3,000 miles on it this year, and uh, it's like the first part of October right now. So weather's getting a little bit colder out. I could keep driving it, but uh, I think my alignment's off a little bit here, so it's kind of wearing off my tire pretty bad. So I decided to just kind of park it for the winter, do some more work. Um, well, obviously I got some crap uh, piled up on it there now just because it's sitting in the garage, but um, yeah, I didn't have much issues. I drove it around um, all summer, drove it every day. Uh, it did get hot a few times, but not like catastrophic, wasn't boiling over, I never had to like pull off the road or anything like that. Um, but I wanted to talk about like my radiator is having some issues now. And uh, I bought this as a, a brand new three core aluminum champion radiator. I bought it, uh, you know, brand new when I was building, building the car, putting it together initially. Um, and I drove it around all summer and it, it did get hot a couple times, but uh, it is leaking from both tanks right now. Um, the other day, I, I, uh, well, I had been just driving, like, uh, filling up with regular gas and stuff. It had ethanol in it. Uh, wasn't buying, like, E85, but just the regular stuff that has 10 to 15 percent ethanol or whatever in it. You just buy it, your everyday gas or whatever. So uh, uh, I was getting kind of low, so I drove it the other day, uh, ran that gas out, and I put, like, half a tank of uh, non-ethanol in it and stuff. So... Uh, just so it'd sit over the winter and, and not go bad or whatever. But uh, when I got back home, you know, I noticed uh, it kind of smelled like cooling a little bit and there was some steam, you know, coming out over here. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit more on that. But uh, if you look down, uh, I'll show you the inside of my radiator. You can see uh, kind of on the inside of both tanks where the fins attached to it or whatever. Uh, you can see where coolant's been like leaking and running down both sides of it. So I'm not really entirely sure what caused that. I mean, I haven't hit it with any tools or um, haven't hit a bird or nothing weird or anything like that driving around. So I'm not sure why it's like separating or something's going on, but it's, it's leaking and um, it's kind of disappointing since it's only got 3,000 miles on it. But, uh, you know, I, I sent a message to the person I got it from. It's a kind of a local parts dealer guy, but uh, he's going to look into it. Maybe we can warranty it or something. I'm not really sure. I'm not like super upset or anything, I guess. Uh, I figured these were pretty good, so maybe if I have to get another radiator, then it is what it is. But uh had a good season with it, so I'm happy with that. But let me uh, kind of show you what's going on in here. Okay, so I took my cover plate off the other day to try to see where that like steam was coming from for sure, but I couldn't quite pinpoint it. But uh, hopefully you guys can see in here if I... Get over here, you can see the stain there where the it's been leaking out and just running down down the radiator there. Kind of puddles up in the, the tray down there and leaks out a little bit. So it's it's kind of like leaking out of here somewhere and just running down. And again, I'm not sure, you know, maybe it might be leaking from there too. I don't know. Um, but I don't know what's caused it. I haven't hit it with anything. No, nothing's jarred it real hard or anything like that. Uh, other side over here, you know, you can see it's kind of the same deal. Um, this is kind of leaking from much higher up, though. And you can see it's just been running down. Same problem. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, this is, this was, uh, you know, it's a, it's a champion radiator. I heard they were pretty good. I mean, it wasn't like the most expensive option out there. But, um, you know, I have a couple other buddies that run these and haven't had an issue yet. So... Um, I don't know, so I guess we'll just see if uh, I get it warranted or, you know, what they might say about it, and I'll, I'll keep you guys posted.